13th of March 2024, John Hammond coming to you from Norwich, UK. Uh, it's a new day, going out on a journey in the clipper, the camper, and we'll just see how the Lord leads. A very quick video this morning on something I saw the other day, um, and bearing in mind something that Stuart Spaghetton has said about in Israel, there is a center for the three Abrahamic faiths. And whilst that sounds a great thing, where the Jews have Abraham, the Muslims have Abraham, and Christians have Abraham in common, they've called the center the Abrahamic faiths, or the faith to do with Abraham. And there are three centers in one area, uh, a bit like a clover leaf, if you can imagine a three-leafed clover plant, uh, three circles, individual circles. <clears throat> so a center for the Jews, a center for the Muslims, and a center for Christianity called the Abrahamic center of faith. But of course, the thought I had the other day, which I expressed on one of the videos, was we're not rooted in Abraham. Well, it's obvious we're rooted in Christ. But what they're saying in this center is Christianity and Judaism and Islam have Abraham in common. Well, of course, literally the Jews, uh, the father of the uh, Israelites is Abraham through Isaac. And of course, you know the story, Ishmael was the first born to Abraham um, and that was not God's plan, but it happened and God didn't destroy the child, but he blessed that nation. So Ishmael was blessed as literally the first born to Abraham. And Ishmael, if you like, is the father of the Arabs. And Isaac, the second born, is the father of the Jews, the Israel, Israel. So where does that leave us as Christians? Well, of course, we're grafted in with Israel, with the Jews, Jews and Gentiles grafted into the cultivated olive tree, Romans 11. And the root is not Abraham. The root of genuine faith in the God of Israel, Yahweh, the root is Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, the only way to God, Yahweh, the Father, the only way. So the way of Abraham is not the way of Christ. Now, I'm being very careful what I'm saying here because the scriptures are clear. But because of Christ, because of the redemption, because of the new covenant that we are now grafted in with Christ, in the root of Christ, the root of God, the God of Abraham. So I said to these two um, Muslims the other day, the usual is, does Allah have a son? No. So your Jesus that you think of in your Quran is not the same as our Jesus, our Yeshua Messiah, because our Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. And of course, the God of the Jews is Yahweh. The God of Abraham was Yahweh. So the God of Ishmael through Abraham is Yahweh, not a new name of God called Allah. Because that came into being centuries after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, who effectively is Emmanuel, God for us. <coughs> God with us, God for us, the God of the body of Christ. And I'm hes hesitating now to even say the God of Christianity. Because if you understand Christianity as a diverse form of denominational beliefs, uh, somebody said years ago, it's 50,000 different types of denominations, denominations of one group or a global denomination, there are upwards of 50,000 different types of denominations. And you can multiply that 50,000 by the indiv individual members of the local church. And with the nuances, you almost, almost, almost get an infinite, an infinite number of different, infinite, almost infinite types of beliefs in Christianity. Within the brand of Christianity, 
you can have subgroups and subgroups and subgroups. And if you understand Christianity as a brand form of religion, Christian religion based on Christian ethos, loosely based on Christ's teachings, the Bible, you've got a whole cross-section of liberal forms of Christianity and you've got the fundamentalist forms of Christianity, the very, very conservative forms of Christianity where, where those denominations or that local church becomes so exclusive it is a sect of Christianity and eventually it becomes a cult. So 50,000 different types of brands of Christianity times the members is almost an infinite number of versions of Christianity. And when you examine that with people in your circle of Christian friends, you'll find differences, differences of opinion, doctrines, emphases, and it gets away from the pure gospel. So let's leave it there. I'm going to think about that further today and possibly do another video later. God bless you. Pray for us as we are praying for you. God bless.